may have their business license, but do they have their contractor's license? According to JMI Edison, their competing bidder, Menzies Aviation, lacked the latter. JMI is bringing their case to the Superior Court after their appeal was dismissed by the Office of Public Accountability. According to Guam Contractors Association President James Martinez, a business license is the bare minimum needed to work with a GovGuam agency. But what about a contractor's license? It's public information. It's on the website. According to the CLB website, Menzies does not have an active Guam contractor's license. But according to Martinez, depending on the scope of the work, they may not necessarily need one. If you're erecting some kind of a building, then of course it's a contractor's license. If you're providing services or, or even maintenance, then a business license would suffice. I think the question is, do you need to get that license prior to um, submitting a bid? You know, otherwise, if you're not awarded the bid, then nothing to worry about. You just pack up and go home. Martinez says it can be difficult because Guam procurement laws are scattered. It's a huge animal that we just got to put together and, and make it work for everybody so we don't have uh, problems like this in the future. KUAM reached out to the Guam Airport Authority to clarify whether or not a contractor's license was needed for the job, however, declined to comment at this time. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Tyler Matanani.